Hi, welcome. Um, in this video, I will be talking about uh, consolidating your migrations uh, with uh, Prisma Migrate. So I'm just following up from yesterday's video where I baselined my existing uh, migration, uh, baseline my existing database with uh, this baseline migration. Um, so that was sorted out and now I have uh, another problem. I have started working on new features so I have updated my schema and while working I have done some changes and now I have several different schema, uh, schema updates uh, and corresponding um, migrations so if i go and check my migrations directory there are a few files there uh, and everything after this first migration actually is uh, just like minor changes every time the second one was uh, with new uh, uh, the second one adds the new table and relationship and everything else uh, but the second and third ones here adding uh, review summary and adding review uh, removing summary again so that was something i thought i would need and then uh, after adding that i removed it again and um, for my application i wouldn't want all those um, tiny migrations even working with this feature i would incrementally do stuff like adding fields adding relationships uh, but at some point uh, you you end up with five six migrations uh, and um, how do i consolidate that um, i tried figuring out myself i tried googling and there is uh, as of now uh, no easy way to fix that so there's no command to consolidate or as as we call it in uh, git uh, squash so there is no command for that so what i ended up like what the solution i ended up with was a bit a workaround um, i think uh, prisma is working on this feature now uh, but before we have something from uh, Prisma, the only way to work around this is um, getting rid of all the migrations, all the new migrations, um, uh, wiping your data um, and creating new migration, applying that migration, which means you have your database uh, schema up to date with the schema uh, prisma schema uh, that way you have like as if you have those just those two migrations and your database uh, just is in sync and um, that's fine uh, because locally i don't uh, mind if i don't have my data but still uh, you might want to keep those data and also at the same time have those migrations cleaned up uh, uh, so uh, for that what I do is I have the backup of the schema of, of the data before I started doing work on the review feature so all those new um, new migrations are new to the backup data I have so uh, what I can do is um, because all these migrations are already uh, applied to my current database uh, when i try doing uh, dev um, is it it will see that uh, there is no right now it won't do anything because uh, my migration files my migration uh, table uh, in my database all are in sync so it won't do anything um, but what I wanted to do was I want to get rid of these smaller migrations and uh, create a new one with uh, all the changes in one place uh, 
um, let's just wait until this is done. Um, so for that, I'd go and delete uh, those new migrations. So these three are the new migrations that I uh, created after yesterday. So, so it says already in sync, so it didn't do anything. So now I can just delete the new migrations. I do the same for uh, the records in my database. So delete all those new migrations. Now what, what, now Prisma dev is going to find out that there's uh, like comparing this migration and your current database, uh, something is off. Like you have applied some, some updates to your database and does not represent the schema. And it will warn you about uh, the data loss, which is fine for us right now. So I said, it says drift detected and um, these are the new uh, changes to the schema uh, after the last migration but our database already has have them and uh, yeah um, there's no way around this one so um, uh, now what this did is it it applied the initial uh, initial uh, Um, initial migration. Oops. Did you create a new uh, migration called? Yeah, so it didn't name it. I was too late. <laughs> so um, it created new migration. It wiped up my uh, database and it shouldn't have also created that new record there. So I have now, uh, this is exactly what I want for my production, but um, just pushing this to uh, my production site will uh, do exactly what I want. It will add those new tables and fields and uh, it's all good. But locally, I lost all my data. So if I go to my orders, um, there will be no row there so um how do i get that back um i have the store command where um this is um restoring um before that i what i uh, what i need to do is i will um this restore doesn't uh, drop any tables so i still have this review table even after i uh restore the database so which is not exactly restoring it just leaves all the tables uh present locally and then uh, just runs this import and you end up with everything so what i need to do is i will oh um i'll need to drop this table, um, I mean the database, um, and recreate it because my import script doesn't have that create database uh, statement. So I'll have to create my database again. So now I have that database. Now I can restore the data from uh, yesterday. Now if I go here and refresh, I will see all the tables other than the uh, review, right? So I have migration from yesterday there and not the new one. So now I can say, uh, uh, let's run the migration that was created. So the one that was created here, 3310. So this migration is not yet applied to the data I have right now. 
so what it will do is it will just apply that new um, new migration and our schema will be uh, sync with uh, the database schema will be sync with the uh, 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 schema oh, so that's um, how I started working around this uh, this issue so um, I think there will be a feature in Prisma soon uh, something around this uh, like consolidating multiple migration into one uh, but for now there's uh, no features like that so uh, all you can do is um, drop your um, database like it will wipe clean up wipe clean your uh, local database and you uh, get this new migration wipe your database again uh, restore to your last um, state migrate again and then you'll have schema synced plus your data so hopefully that was helpful to you and um, I will follow up if there is any updates from Prisma regarding this feature um, but for now this workaround works for me and uh, hopefully works for you too and um, thanks for watching please like the video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more of these kind of videos um, so until next time bye